Your worth isn't established because you haven't learned yourself. See, oftentimes we want the next person to determine our value when our value isn't even present. So how do you really learn your worth when you haven't even gained the experience and the knowledge to even believe in yourself? But see, oftentimes as we're believing in ourselves, that's when our worth is established. That's when our worth is, is, is built within ourselves because now we understand where this came from. See, oftentimes our value isn't present because we don't know what we're doing. We're not confident in the thought of actually being present today. See, oftentimes your work is come, your work is built from your experience and your trials and tribulations. So oftentimes you need to leave money on the table because you don't know what you bring to the table in order to collect everything that you're worth. See, oftentimes your work is, is established by what you do and what you have overcame. Your best experience, the best lesson that you can ever go through is your experience. This is where your worth and your value and your 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 passion is that it, it come from. That's where it comes from. Your best attribute, your best talent to work on is yourself. What's going on everybody? My name is Terrell with the Wild Humphrey and welcome to another conversation, life talk at failure is knowledge. See, we talking, we going deep. We, we we're going deep because these are the lessons that are gonna help you grow in life. It's gonna help you be successful, not only just monetarily, but it's gonna, it's, gonna, it's gonna help you believe that you can do anything that, that you put your mind to. But what's best and, and what's possible is the unknown and the time and effort that you put into yourself, right? So if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, if you haven't hit it, if you haven't hit that like, if you haven't, I know you haven't left a comment, but towards the end, leave a comment on how this video was really impactful for you to learn your worth. For the next 25 minutes, we're gonna be talking about why your worth is established over time because you have learned yourself. So the thing about identifying what your worth is, you have to be confident in everything that you're doing. You have to really be knowledgeable of what you're presenting to the next person because if the next person is confused of what you're delivering, your worth is not present. I had to learn how to communicate. I had to learn how to present myself. I had to learn how to show up presentable. But as I'm showing up presentable, how am I determining my worth? It was so hard for me to do. I was working with my mentors, Mike Imbriglio and Steve Anderson. It was so hard for me to communicate. It was so hard for me to understand what the problem was because I never was in a sales position. I never was in a position to where I had to really just speak to the homeowner or direct to, to seller in a place to where I have to hear what your problem is and I have to find a solution that can solve it. But what I was thinking, I know all this information. So in, when I hear one problem, the information that I have, which is a lot, it can solve what they're going through. But in reality, it was not because I was making it confusing to them. But what happened to me was that I had to be in, in uncomfortable positions to realize why this happened in this way. I mean, this one time I was on, I was making a call and Steve was just watching me like Steve Anderson. He was just watching me on the computer making a call. When I tell you I was so nervous to call and talk to this person and actually have a conversation with them, it was so hard for me because I didn't want to mess up. It was so difficult for me because he was watching me as I was having this conversation. What, what made it even more difficult was that he was commenting. He was leaving comments as I was speaking to this homeowner, as I was on the phone talking to the, the homeowner that I was speaking with. It was so hard for me to multitask, for me to listen, for me to solve the problem, for me to present the solution because I was so stuck in my head. The work that I had to learn was that it, I, had, I had to really take time to learn my craft. Not just my craft, but how to really communicate with someone. Because oftentimes when we're speaking with people, we want to solve their problems before the problem even gets presented. I didn't know that. I didn't understand that. And I'm so grateful that he even did that. Just picture it. You make you on a call and every time you messing up, he's typing, he's typing, he's typing, he's typing. Now you're trying to read and trying to communicate and have a conversation, but you can't have a conversation because it's dead and it's silent. And so many things going on but what's happening is that when there's so many things going on it becomes chaotic but as it's becoming chaotic how are you controlling yourself 
during this moment, I can control my my nervousness because I was all over the place. I was going up and down. It was I was getting hot. I was starting to sweat. I was stumbling on my words, and nothing was going good for me. Nothing was going better for me because I was so stuck in my head because I didn't want to mess up. I didn't want to mess up so bad. Steve, come in it, come in and messed me up a lot. But in reality, it helped me because I didn't know how to have the conversation with this homeowner. But see, here's the thing about life. Here's the thing about identifying what your worth is. Your worth is established from experience. So this experience was 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 the starting point for me to start growing and become a better communicator, become a better listener. Communication is just not about talking. It's just not about speaking. It's what you're listening to. How are you connecting with this person? How you become relatable? But see, the things about the thing about sales and business, if you don't know how to communicate and match your audience, your audience is going to be so confused because now you're trying to you're trying to paint the picture when the picture ain't even been present yet. But the best thing I've learned during this time was that my worth was not established because I didn't know who I was. I had to learn what what even that meant. I had to learn what is your worth? What is your worth? What are you worth? I'm still learning that. But your experience creates the amount of work that you are brought up. But oftentimes we, we get so confused because we don't want to mess up. We don't want to look crazy. We don't want to feel like what we doing, we don't know because it feels weird. But just because it feels weird doesn't mean you shouldn't do it. I see I had to learn. I had to really continue to make the calls. But as I'm making the calls, there's a lesson behind each call that I make. Sometimes they pick up the phone. Sometimes they don't pick up the phone. Sometimes we have a conversation. Sometimes they get off the phone quick. What am I learning through each call? How am I getting better? How am I growing? How am I becoming a better communicator? How am I learning my worth? Unfortunately, I wasn't able to close the deal when I was working with Mike and, Mike and, Mike and Steve. But I did learn how and why that was important. I did, I did understand why communication was key because if you can't listen to this person's problem, how are you supposed to solve it with your solution and your answers? See, and, and, and identifying your worth is going through the experience through your trials and tribulations while you're becoming embarrassed, while, you're, while it seems like you're overthinking what you're doing. But oftentimes you need to overthink the journey and understand in order to understand that the journey is here for you. That call was here for me because I had to learn how to be better at communicating. I had to be better at, at learning how to learn my worth. My worth is, is, is established by me believing in myself. By me going through the experience and me gaining that trust within myself. Not just within myself, with the knowledge that was presented. But what's so scary is looking crazy in the act of doing something, and in the act of believing in yourself. But as you're believing in yourself, now you're learning why you can actually do this. Why you can actually do this. Because if you put your time and effort into yourself, the results that's coming is so achievable because you're doing it every day. You're doing it every day. I, I worked with Mike, Mike and Steve from June to September and we was making calls every day, every day, every day. I could have had potential deals, but I didn't because I wasn't able to communicate. I wasn't able to solve the problem. I wasn't able to present the solution at the time that needed to be, to be presented. But what I learned is that if you do something every day, if you get in the habit of being consistent every single day, you have no other choice but to be successful. Why? Because the actions that you're taking today is constantly building for tomorrow, for next week, for next month, for next year. It's constantly building because you didn't stop being consistent with yourself. But why am I saying is your work is getting built over time as you continue to get educated, as you continue to believe, as you continue to strive along the path. But it's scary. I can't I can't do that. I, I, I can't be a, a good communicator. I can't be a great listener. I cannot be that because it wasn't taught to me. But the best lesson that you go through is when you experience the hard time and recognize that the hard times was you just being uneducated. So how do you really, how do you maintain how you respond to adversity when adversity gets presented later on in life? You recognize and you identify what it is. 
you, you recognize and say, what is this? How can I control what I do? See, oftentimes when things happen to us, we get mad at the effect that it took on us because we weren't able to control the outcome. But you don't need to control what happens. You need to control what you do. So what did I do? When I stopped working for Mike and Steve, I had to learn how to communicate. I start watching videos. I start watching different conversations. I start hearing how people presented themselves as they were speaking to homeowners. So I was in, I was, I started in real estate, but, but now the real estate skill really trans, trans, what is evolved into having daily conversations, being able to understand more and being able to communicate better and being able to listen attentively to actively listen to the point to where if they're saying something, they're speaking about their problem, but their problem is being directed towards the big problem. See, that, that, and it's so, and it's so, and it's so mind blown, mind boggling that somebody can even understand what the problem is that someone is talking. Experience is your best teacher because now you're determining, determining your own worth. When you learn your worth, you learn who you are. You learn why it should be this way. Your worth is built over time. It's not built overnight. Why? Because you have to go through the trial and error in order to understand what I'm doing might not be okay. Might not be the best today, but it will get better. It will get better over time, but as it's getting better, you are get, you are becoming more experienced. And that's what, ha that's what happened in life. We have to go through hard times in order to recognize that the hard times are here for us, to teach us the lesson that can help us grow and, and, and become the best version of ourselves. But we, can't, we don't believe we can be the best version of ourselves because we're not comfortable with messing up. We're not comfortable not knowing what we think we should know. We're not comfortable with that because we, haven't, we, we wasn't taught that. We wasn't taught that. Yes, we can hear from other people. We can see other people do it. But until we go through our own experiences, our own trials and error, it, 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 it hit different when you recognize why you need to go through this. They, they can, Mike and Steve can talk to me all day. This is what you're supposed to do. I remember one time Steve was like, sound like a, a contractor, sound like somebody just got off of work, like they tired. I'm like, to be honest, I don't know what that sounds like. I don't know what that sound like. You know what I mean? Like, I, I ain't never been around no contractor. I don't know what he sound like, so I couldn't picture the thought in my head. So now I'm trying to figure out how to communicate because when I got on the phone, it sounded like I was, I sounded like a kid. When I start cold calling, it sounded like I was a kid. Like a, 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 a homeowner get on the phone, they'd be like, hello. I'd be like, hey, how you doing? My name is Terrell Humphrey. Have you thought about selling your place? No, oh well, if anything changes, please say my number and, I, uh, and please say my number. I look forward to speaking with you soon. Steve heard me say that, he lost his mind. He said, Terrell, no, you're not supposed to do that. I said, what you mean? I'm thinking, they, they didn't want to sell it. Why keep them on the phone? He said, Terrell, you got to recognize, you got to understand. It's hard to get people on the phone. But when you get them on the phone, how can you keep them on the phone and hear have they been selling it? Have they recently thought about selling it? What changed their mind? Ask more questions to ask more questions to get more answers. But I didn't know that at the time. I didn't know that at the time. So I'm thinking I'm doing my best. But the experience is built over time. So as I'm hearing this, Steve is telling me this, I recognize it on different conversations. It was it was it was difficult for me. I, I'm grateful for them. I'm grateful for them. They showed me so much about business, about communications, about <laughs> partnership. They showed me a lot. But I'm so blessed for them. Excuse me, because that that action that I took in June, in June prepared me to be the man that I am today. Prepared me for the success that I am going to accomplish today. So if I didn't go through that hard time, if I did, if I wasn't embarrassed, if I wasn't doing things incorrectly, the correct manner wouldn't have been present because now I'm trying to figure out how to fix the errors when the errors is constantly being present today. I remember one time I was on a phone call and Steve was like, okay, Tore, this is what you need to work. Dot, 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 three different things. Okay, next phone call, Tore, this is what you need to work. Dot, 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 dot. 
six things. Terrell, this is what needs to work. Dot, 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 nine things. I'm like, okay, cool. Every call, I'm trying to fix the error that he's telling me to fix, but I'm messing up more because I'm overthinking the process. And it's so and it's so different to even recognize why I was messing up. Because I had a lot of thoughts in my head that I didn't want to mess up. I still messed up. If you're still watching this video so far, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like and make sure you share this with three people. Three people that's learning what their worth can become. Or learning themselves or just really learning and all. See, the thing about learning your worth is that it doesn't stop. You learning does not stop because you're constantly finding ways to become better. How can you become better if you never stop? How can you become better if you always putting time and effort to yourself? The best lesson to learn is how much you have grown within yourself. You can't grow overnight. You can't gain, you can't gain experience overnight. You have to really go through the hard times and put yourself in uncomfortable positions to recognize why you're here today. Sales is communication. Business is communication. Life is communication. If you're not able to communicate who you are to the next person, nothing's gonna come from that. Nothing's gonna come from that because now you don't know who you are, why should this next person even care? But people don't tell you that. People don't tell you your worth is, is, is built from the way you communicate. As soon as I start speaking, you recognize and judging me for what I'm saying. Why is it that as soon as you start talking, you're not judged as well? See, that's the thing. We have to be embarrassed in order to recognize why it's happening in this way. It's happening in this way because this is something that's going to help us down the line. In order to be the best version of yourself, communication is key because if you don't have, if you don't know how to communicate with with any and everyone, any everyone is not gonna be willing to talk to you and or do business with you. Why? Because you don't know how to communicate. You don't know how to speak. You don't know how to listen. I was there. I was there because this was something new to me. How do you learn this if it's never been taught? What is business? Business is communication. What is life? Communication. What is a relationship? Communication. How do you build your communication skills if you're not working on yourself? But see, when you become the best version of yourself, you understand why you're constantly evolving, why you're constantly growing. Because the person that you were yesterday, you can no longer go back and change. You can only change the future and prepare for today because of the recognition that you have, because of how, of how aware you are for yourself. But what's so special and interesting and very unique is that anybody can do it, but are you making a choice and decision to make it for yourself? That's the difference. That's what, that's what keeps us different from people. Not different from, pe different from people. That's what keeps us going and figuring out ways how to be better. You can't be better if you stop. You can't be better if you quit. You can't be better if you just throw in the towel. You just can't be better. But you can be better if you continue to strive every single day to get better. You can't be better if you try. You can't be better if you mess up. You can't be better if you're doing things that is uncomfortable. But the uncomfort is you not having the experience. But once you gain the experience, that's when you get comfortable. Okay, 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 okay. You're getting comfortable because now you know how to deliver your message. Now you know how to communicate. Now you know how to listen. Now you know how to present yourself. If you don't understand how to present yourself, Communication will be hard to understand because your worth will never be present. If you got value from this video, if you really like this video, make sure you click this video right here to watch the upcoming video on your personal growth, personal development within yourself. Click this video and I'll see you there.